testified before this committee in the last few days as well. So man, you testify about the actual cost. Do you want to man, talk about the cost? Man-made global warming pollution causes global warming. No. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just not true. I don't know where these people get it. What he says is coming from an agenda. It's not coming from the laboratory. Al Gore is wrong. The global mean temperature has not gone up for the past 15 years. Temperature increases are taking place all over the world. We know for the past 15 to 20 years that global temperatures have been flat. In fact, maybe even decreasing. We've had no warming for 17 years. It's actually cooling for the past 10 years. The heat has been ferocious. Global warming is a natural event. When the culprit that you're pointing your finger at, CO2, is rising rapidly and the temperature is not rising at all, over a period of 20 years, um, then you have to question your initial premise. Global warming skeptics are holding their own. A lot of people are changing their minds about the theory of man-made global warming. There is evidence that global warming is accelerating. 35,000 homes are at risk from rising sea levels and tides. In the last about 8,000 years, increase of the sea level has actually leveled off. As you look over geologic history and you look at the last 100 or 200,000 years, there are wild swings in sea level that dwarf the ones we're looking at today. In a world that's getting warmer than it used to be, all weather events are affected by it. More extreme droughts, floods, wildfires, and hurricanes. So let's look at the actual facts. The floods and, and droughts have not changed. This rate of sea level rise has not changed. The bottom line is, is, is what the data says is that there is no increase in extreme weather activity. The hurricanes and tornadoes have not gotten more frequent or more severe. I'm here to say we need to act. We've declared war on climate change. The scientific case for global warming as a crisis is weak. I think more than anything it's driven by a political agenda than by reality. The environmental movement has been hijacked. We should examine this question more scientifically. The public needs to know that the science isn't settled. Making factual observations, revealing the truth, is what settles science. The whole thing ought to be really thrown out. I don't have much patience for anyone who denies that this challenge is real. Once the truth comes out, it's very difficult uh, to, to propagate this kind of a huge fraud. Mm -hmm.